Welcome everyone. Today we're going to look at how to install H5P on Drupal 8. So Drupal 8 and Drupal 7, they treat H5P differently. We're looking specifically at Drupal 8 and how to install H5P. So if you go to this page here, this is the extension page for H5P. So adding, adding it as a plugin. I will leave the link to this page, the plugin download or the extension download page. I'll leave it in the description. So you can basically see all the information about the H5P plugin for Drupal. But if you do come down here with the getting started, you do, you do see here in Drupal 8, it says in Drupal 8, H5P is implemented as a field, not a content type like Drupal 7. So in Drupal 7, H5P was a content type. It was a separate content type. But for Drupal 8, it is considered a field, just a field. And I'll show you why I think, in my opinion, that having it as a field is better and one reason is that you can add it easily to any content type, to any page or um, article that you want. You can basically just attach a, um, you attach a field that is the H5P field to any content type. So the installation will be a little bit different from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8, but we'll just do Drupal 8, Drupal 9, doesn't have the support yet for uh, H5P so we're not gonna do that so we'll stick to Drupal 8 and what you want to do is you want to come down here to the download section on that page and you want to download the the 8.x file for the module or for the uh, plugin so click on that I download the zip because we're gonna upload that into our Drupal site. Once that's downloaded, I go back to my uh, Drupal website. This is a fresh installation. I haven't done anything to it. It's completely blank. And what you want to do is you want to come to the extent section here. And this is where you, um, you install your extensions, kind of like plugins for WordPress but they're called extensions on Drupal. So I come down here, I see these are all the extensions that are there by default. This is, I think this is the standard installation, not the, uh, it's not the bare minimum, but it's the standard with all the necessary and most used uh, functions. So to install a new module or an extension, you click on install new module you have two options you can install it if you have a uh, if you have the uh, the URL for the online file or you can upload the module this is what we're doing we're uploading the file that we downloaded so I'll go to choose file I'll choose the file that I downloaded right here and I'll click on install. So it might take a few seconds to install this module. All right, saying H5P is already installed. Given it as an error, let's see h5p all right so i have my h5p here installed so this is basically even if you don't get that i kind of got an error because it was there before and i removed it and i tried to install it again but you would get the same thing you would get something like installation is done so now you have you have these two these two um two items one is called H5P and one is H5P editor. 
So that's important. The editor depends on the H5P. The H5P is the core plugin and the H5P editor is the, um, is the editor that you see when you're adding the uh, H5P content. So you don't need to do anything here. Install, click on both of them and then install. Give that a few seconds. And it's telling me that they're installed. So now you see that they're both checked. So they're both in installed. So this is basically activate if you ever use WordPress. I, I refer back to WordPress because it's more widely used. So the first step was we uploaded and installed the modules. The second step here when we checked these boxes and clicked install was actually activating those plugins. So now they're installed and activated and they're ready to use. So if you go to content, if you add new content, you can add basic page or article. If you click on either one, let's just give it a try. So if I go to article, you'll see that there is nothing there. It's just the title, summary, body, tags, and then image. Nothing there about H5P. Go back to add content. Same with the basic page. Got the title and the body. That's it. So what you need to do is you need to go to structure. And in this structure, you need to go to content types. So we know we have two content types. We have articles and basic page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the H5P module to the article content type. You can add it to either. You can add it actually to any content type that you have. That's what's good about the uh, Drupal 8 installation or plugin for the uh, H5P. So for the article, you can go to manage fields. So these are the fields that we have in the article. We have the body, comments, tags, and images. So what you want to do is you want to add a new field because H5P is being added as a new field. And from here, from add a new field, you find the H5P interactive content under reference here, interactive content H5P. You can give it a label H5P save and continue give it kind of a allowed number of values one so we can have one of those content types okay so updated fields everything save settings so I come back to my article and now I see that we have body comments H5P. So we have a new field that is H5P. We're not done yet, so there's one more step. So in order to so this is just the H5P. It's not the H5P editor. We need to put the editor on that page so we can add the content through the editor. So what you need to do is you need to come up here, click to show more options. If your screen is wider, you can see those options straight away. So you have edit, manage form display and manage display. And you want to click on manage form display. So this is basically 
asking you what type of display do you want for this for this uh, field so you go down to the h5p the last one and it says for the widget it says h5p upload so it's showing the h5p upload we don't want that we want to show the h5p editor here so once we change it to editor we click on save that's it that's done save that don't really need to but you can go back to home or structure here you can go back to content types we can manage fields or we can just click on content we can add new content we can add a new article to see what that looks like now and in the new article we have title body we have tags body tags image now we have h5p content and as you can see here this is the the default I guess this is the h5p content creator the editor this is the one that we use on uh, WordPress now the way to create this content is exactly the same way that we do it in WordPress so if you want to see how you can create all of these modules or content types go through my channel you'll find tutorials for every type of module here how to create that uh, that activity based on the module and once you create a mod once you create an activity here you add your title you add your body and then you save and it's published you don't need to do anything else your content will be published unlike WordPress where you have to um, add the content by adding a short code or using the add h5p content button on the uh, post so that's it so now every time you create an article you will have an option to add h5p content and like I said it, you're not limited to the article content type but you can actually add this field to any content type that you have not just article or basic page any new content type that you add that's it that is how you install h5p on drupal 8 and how to start creating your h5p content if you have any questions if you have any feedback please let me know i'll leave the tutorials for creating the different activities for h5p in the description you can check those out even though they're for wordpress the editor is exactly the same for the h5p content so you can use you can use those tutorials all right thank you everyone thank you for watching and i will see you next time